Hello everybody, so this video covers how to check Raspberry Pi revision number and board version and how to configure UART serial communication on a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so the first thing to do is uname space hyphen A and that will tell you Linux Pi 4 so you can verify that you're on the correct version of. The next command you want to type is cat so if you're familiar with Linux or even Windows these days, cat displays contents of a file. And this particular file is actually proc forward slash device hyphen tree forward slash model. So cat space forward slash proc forward slash device hyphen tree forward slash model. And there we go. Raspberry Pi 4 model B revision 1.2 so next we want to look at the pinout so believe it or not you type you type pinout hit enter and there we go and if i just make that a little bit larger you'll see you've got all of the pinouts and you can see the voltages which is important because don't use five volts for your usb It'll damage your pie. So there we go, there's the board. And obviously that um, image there, you just need to rotate. And you want the, there you go, you got your the two red ones there correspond to those two red ones there. So that's pretty good, pin out. So that's how to check everything on the Raspberry Pi. Next, we need to look at how to configure serial in brackets UART. Okay, so next we want to check the config of the Pi. So we do sudo your language. And there we go. We have Raspberry Pi for model one B rev 1.2 and we want to go to okay next so we do sudo space raspi dash config and should get a screen which looks like this and then we need to go using the down arrow on your keyboard go to number three interface options hit enter then down arrow again down to number six serial port and would you like a login shell to be accessible over serial and you'll press tab to take it away from the default onto no press enter would you like the serial port hardware to be enabled and then it's on yes so then you click yes the serial login shell is disabled the serial interface is enabled Okay, so then the next thing, hit OK. And then if you're happy with that, which you should be, click Finish, and it will tell you that you need to reboot. So I'm just going to hit Enter, and I'll resume when the Raspberry Pi has rebooted. Okay, so a few minutes later, the Pi is back up. And just to check, you need to then just do tail, space, forward slash boot, forward slash config.txt, hit Enter and you should just see at the very last line enable underscore uart equals one is meaning that uart serial communication is now enabled okay next we need to actually identify the device so if we do ls space hyphen l space forward slash dev forward slash lowercase t with asterisk for wildcard press enter and you should see down at the bottom you will have TTYS0, but also you'll have TTYAMA0, and that's a legacy ARM thing. So let's change that. Okay, so just to cover the difference, the TTYAMA0 is used to communicate with the onboard Bluetooth device on a Raspberry Pi 3. So if you're on a Raspberry Pi 3, the serial port must be changed to TTYS0. TTYAMA0 should also be changed to TTYS0 
in the following program if you're running a Raspberry Pi 3. And that's the example using wiring pi.h if you're writing a C program to test with. Chances are you're using Python. The other thing is if you've got a USB to serial converter, you just need to install sudo apt install minicom. And then to start the adapter, you do minicom space hyphen capital D, and then you'll do forward slash dev forward slash TTY AMA, AMA zero. So um, I've not actually got the adapter for hand, but we'll install the software anyway. And there we see it working okay. And then we'll just, we'll start it anyway, even though there's nothing connected. There we go. So this, if I had a device connected, I would then be able to send some commands and get a response. So control C, control D, control. Oh, 